I bet 2K wishes everybody looked like Randy Orton. Nobody had long hair. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to have you guys here. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new WWE 2K19 stuff because they just announced the new 2K showcase with Daniel Bryan in it. We're going to be taking a look at the trailer. We're going to be taking a look at some screenshots. We're going to be taking some look at some B-roll. I mean, we're going to be taking a look at a lot of stuff. And, and we're going to be looking at some cutscenes from the 2K showcase. So you're going to see kind of in-game what the game kind of looks like this year. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at all that. I guess the first thing we'll take a look at is this 2K Showcase trailer. So we'll watch it together. I haven't actually watched any of this stuff yet. I just have all this stuff right here. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up and take a look at it. Trust me, I don't wanna be doing this any more than, than you guys want me to be doing this. You need to fight for your dreams. The truth is, I've been wrestling since I was 18 years old. That's what Daniel Bryan does, is he fights for his dreams. I have loved this in a way that I have never loved anything else. Fight for your dreams! Fight for your dreams! It is with a heavy heart. And if you fight for your dreams... And the utmost... <sighs> sadness. Your dreams will fight for you! That I officially announce my retirement. Will Daniel Bryan compete in a WWE ring again? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I was wondering if they were going to show any actual game stuff or it was just going to be the promo back and forth. They came through, okay. Edition and play four days early. We got a couple things to look at here, especially when it comes to gameplay and things like that. So that's not the only thing we're gonna be taking a look at. So we're gonna actually see a deeper piece of the in-game WWE 2K19 than just that little piece. So I'm not gonna go back and take a look at that. I'm just gonna go and uh, go ahead and, and move on to the next stuff so we can take a look at everything else because we have a whole bunch of stuff right here and I wanted to check that out. So let's go ahead and roll some of this footage here. I'm gonna take a look at all of them. We got a couple of things. So uh, let's see here. We have the introduction. So we'll play that first. I've never had it easy in WWE. I've had injuries. I was released twice and just when I had scratched and clawed my way to the top, my in-ring career was over. I could have sat at home satisfied with what I accomplished, but I decided that's not how I wanted my story to end. I wanted to show myself, my family, and anyone who's gone through adversity in life that you need to take on whatever challenges you face and fight for your dreams. Well, we Look at this dude, we'll that haircut. <laughs> I love it. I wonder if they're gonna cover the whole uh, Nexus thing. It looked like it. The miracle came! The miracle came! 77,000 chanting in unison. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so that was like the introduction. So there's also some actual gameplay and things like that, but let me check what this is. It says retirement. On February 8th, 2016, in my home state of Washington, I said goodbye to everything I worked for and dreamed of. It is with a heavy heart and the utmost <sighs> sadness that I officially announced my retirement. I have loved this in a way that I have never loved anything else. And for that, I'm grateful. After my retirement, I had to step away from WWE for a while. I needed some space. Okay, so basically this is these these videos are going to be like in the game and it's going to be kind of telling the story of Daniel Bryan. So that's that's actually pretty neat. So we're going to have Daniel Bryan sort of telling his own story which is interesting for a 2k showcase uh, so it's actually pretty neat okay so let's take a look at some of the gameplay let's take a look at that all right so we have brian danielson versus john cena you heard me right brian danielson is what this thing says here 
back in control of Cena. Right back to the arm. They got velocity in the mix. They got velocity in the mix. They got this man in the white joints. Here against John Cena. Oh, just looking to control and neutralize John the Cena in the yellow canary. Cena, though, back to his feet, and Brian continues to work on the arm. But now Cena, <laughs> test of strength, and you don't want to get into a power battle with John. Absolutely not. Even though I feel like the commentary wasn't as monotonous like that on Velocity back in the day. But hey, I'm not surprised by that, even just a little bit. Uh, but the game looked good there. Get a little peek there. It, it, it looks like, let's be, all right, let's be up front here. The game pretty much looks the same. They they did a little bit on the lighting here. It looks better. I think the biggest takeaway from this stuff this year, especially 2K19 so far, is uh, the attires. I don't know if you guys noticed, but all the attires on everybody. I thought it was just going to be, you know, we saw the AJ Styles screenshot. And the AJ Styles screenshot, the attire looked crazy. Um, you know, AJ didn't look that much better, but the attires look crazy. And it looked right there like Cena and Brian Danielson, their tires look pretty good. Let's take a look at uh, Daniel Bryan and Kane versus Kofi Kingston. And does it say anybody else or just Kofi Kingston? Here comes Daniel Bryan. It's just Kofi Kingston. Kingston across the ring. And Daniel Bryan looking to put Kofi Kingston away. Now you got to remember, these are also the cut scenes in 2K Showcase. It's like when you complete an objective and the cut scene triggers. That's what this is. So keep that in mind. This isn't like actual controlling D. Bryan stuff. This is after that. Kane's big ass. I ain't selling that. <laughs> ain't no bump over here, boy. Yeah, Kane's mask looks crazy. Like, these attires look dope. I'm going to tell you that right now. I think the attires look better this year. Now, everything else kind of looks the same. Kane's mask, though, that look pretty neat. All right, we have Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton. Let's open this one up. What's Randy Orton going to do? Will the Viper tap out? Orton's in serious trouble. Debra looking kind of rough here in the close-up. This hair. Ropes, but remember, the ropes aren't going to cause a oh, break here. Guys, guys. Because this is a street fight. Randy Orton's the most... Randy Orton's the dude that you can literally make the best because he's like the most cookie-cutter looking, like, straight dude I've ever seen. Wearing the weapon out on Daniel Bryan's body. Just what the Dolly Dolly Wee's Apex Predator needs. I bet 2K wishes everybody looked like Randy Orton. Nobody had long hair. <laughs> yeah, see, they did a little bit to the lighting. The attires look a lot better. Honestly, the attires add so much to just the characters in general. The attires look a slick. Seems to be preparing to go to that place. He's going to that place? Oh my. You beat his ass. Daniel Bryan using okay, so it just cut to where you do this. There was no, no sound effects there. We're just gonna, we're just gonna skip on the sound effects there. We're just skipping on all the sound effects. Okay. Is that how we doing? We skipped on the sound effects. Crowd ain't even say yes. Is this what we doing? Gotta give it up to him. Gotta Look at his man. Look at his hair on his man. Daniel Bryan's going to be feeling the effects of this one for some time. Oh, hold, hold on. It seems like something that I videotaped in creative video and then had to add in sound effects afterwards. Orton offering a sign of respect. That's what you love to see. Two great superstars. This is rough. Two great Hold on. Warriors displaying their mutual respect for each other. All 
And that was bad. <laughs> that last bit. They probably should have put that in there. <laughs> that was bad. Okay. Whew, that was bad, that last bit there. <laughs> 2K. What you doing now? What you doing now? <laughs> you had me for a minute, 2K. What you doing? All right, let's take a look at some of these screenshots here. Okay. So we got the first one here. We got the Velocity Arena with the SmackDown Fist. Velo what was the last time I used Velocity? 2K14? I think I had. I think I used the Velocity Arena on 2K14 Universe mode. Good days, man. I like Velocity a lot. But uh, you can apparently you can very you can very much see in the screenshots how much this game is just 2K18. But the attires look nice. So you got Cena right here with the uh, yellow pants, yellow pants canary. We got a lot of shots of the Velocity Arena. It doesn't look bad, you know. It's just similar. This shot right here looks dope. Get the Triple H. I mean, look at this beast. I'm telling you, man. I swear to God, Triple H is like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pedigree all of you if you don't make me look the best. Daniel Bryan taped up. I'm gonna have taped up Daniel Bryan versus belly tape DDP. It's a dream match. We got Daniel Bryan here, looking at Triple H, menacingly. <laughs> These look good. These screenshots right here, the WrestleMania ones, they look way better than the Velocity ones. You got Daniel Bryan on the top rope with the tape. Yeah, see, these look way better than the Velocity ones. This arena looks good, too. Yeah, this looks really good. This shot right here with Daniel Bryan with the fingers to the sky. Oh, my God, Triple H, please. Please, Triple H. My arm is broke in half. You're going to die for this business, boy. <laughs> Triple H don't care. Uh, so... The WrestleMania screenshots look way better than the Velocity screenshots. Uh, the attires look dope. They look really, really good. I think that's going to add a lot to the game there. Um, I, they actually gave me a fact sheet thing here. Um, it kind of explains how everything played out. So uh, it says, what is 2K Showcase? 2K Showcase is a story-driven, single-player campaign mode that traditionally covers a particular era or rivalry of a WWE superstar. Does anyone else find it weird that it's not like an AJ Styles 2K showcase and AJ Styles is on the cover? It's like, thanks for the cover, AJ, but Daniel Bryan is going to get this showcase, brother. The mode features historic WWE footage that gives context and backstory to the objective-based matches the user plays through. Achieving objectives often triggers mid-match cinematic cutscenes that allow the user to recreate historic moments on their way to victory. Completing objectives also unlock special arena superstars, attires, and championship belts. The goal of finishing a showcase is to complete as many objectives as possible to earn all unlockable content and, of course, relive some WWE history. Now, what prompted the 2K showcase return in the WWE 2K franchise? Well, the first factor in making this decision was listening to the fans. And to be honest, most of us, when we went, uh, most of the creators, at least, from what I'm remembering, uh, when we went to the round table, most people wanted 2K showcase back. Whether you're a casual WWE games fan or you're a longtime fan, I like the modes pretty neat. You know, it gives you, uh, it's just something to do. And that's what this game needs, for the love of God, is something to do. It needs more things to do. <laughs> it needs a lot more things to do. Adding 2K Showcase back is definitely one of those things. So if we could just keep adding and not taking out. So 2K20 comes around, I don't want to see this stuff taken out. I, I need to, I need more. Okay, lots and lots. Lots and lots of more stuff. 2K has received a lot of requests asking to bring this mode back. Internally, the team also wanted to bring it back because it adds a different gameplay dimension as players are attempting to re recreate historic moments. It's a great way for players to learn about different WWE superstars and experience matches they may not have witnessed when they originally occurred on WWE programming. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, most of my 2K showcase videos are some of my highest viewed videos. Uh, it's very obvious that people enjoyed this mode. And I'm glad that they're uh, bringing it back. And it also gives me something else to do on the game video wise. You know, that's one of the big reasons I'm really happy about this coming back is because it gives me more to do to share with you guys. So that's pretty neat. Why Daniel Bryan? Well, he's just he's cool and neat and he likes plants and he deadlifts and he's got a cool wife. So there you go. Uh, 2K Showcase Facts. He has there's 15 Daniel Bryan video packages with a combined runtime of 25 minutes. 
20 story-centric video cutscenes, 11 historic matches along with one surprise match for a total of 12 matches. I'm sure the one surprise match is the velocity match with John Cena with the pants, but that's not much of a surprise, but since they already showed it to us, so maybe it's not, but I, that would make sense for the surprise match. Nine historic arenas, including Velocity and WrestleMania. Well, see, now they already said Velocity here, so maybe it's not the surprise match. You'd think the Brian Danielson match would be the surprise match. Huh. Maybe not. Let's see what they have uh, for a surprise. <laughs> Eleven different Daniel Bryan... Eleven different Daniel Bryan character models, with each having unique appearances and movesets. Eleven different Daniel Bryan character models. Eleven... Eleven... Daniel Bryan, do we need that many Daniel Bryans? Can we just put the tape on them? Just put the tape on them. Eight new entrances and 11 new victory scenes. More specifically, Daniel Bryan has four of those and six of those victory cutscenes. Team Daniel with Kane as part of Team Hell No for a special surprise. Oh, Team Daniel. Okay, that was weirdly. T make a tag team <laughs> for a special surprise. So, eight new entrances. Uh, four of them, Daniel Bryan, 11 new victory scenes, six of them, Daniel Bryan, okay. When it comes to the screenshots and the B-roll and the gameplay and stuff like that, it looks pretty much how I expected it to look, you know, a little better. The lighting here and there looks a little better. Uh, the attires look great, I'll give it that much, they look absolutely fantastic. Um, that B-roll there with Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton was awful, and, uh, I cannot believe that they added that, where they just cut all the sound effects and had that shoot in guard. I don't even know what they were thinking. That was just bad. I don't even have anything to say about that other than that was awful. It was the worst. It was bad and horrible and not good. <laughs> so what do you guys think about this and 2K Showcase being back in the game for WB 2K19? You guys can tell me down in the comments below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Add more stuff to the game. Thanks! And I'll see you guys next time. See ya!